Welcome to Starbase Pink. Let's start the updates with Falcon 9 rocket launching from Space Launch Complex 40, carrying 20 Starlink satellites, including 13 satellites with direct to cell connectivity. This is liftoff. And liftoff. Go Falcon, go Starlink. And we have fairing separation, marking the fastest turnaround for fairing, refurbishment, and reuse. Less than two weeks. And here we can see Falcon 9's first stage landing on just the instructions drone ship. It was the 20th launch and landing for booster 1067. Today, Atlas V rocket launched carrying Boeing Space's Starliner. This is liftoff. One ignition and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V. Now Starliner is on its way to the International Space Station carrying two astronauts. Hello React, he said, congratulations on successful launch. Now to the main update, Starship B11S29 launch license granted yesterday by the FAA. Now Starship is fully stocked again and ready for launch. SpaceX team are targeting tomorrow, Thursday, June 6th, with two hours launch window opens at 12 a.m. UTC, 7 a.m. Central Time. After a very successful landing on the far side of the moon, Shang-G6 collected samples from the lunar surface, as you can see. After securing the samples, it was time to make the world's first takeoff from the far side of the moon. Now it's time to give the samples to the returner and play a little bit around the lunar orbit until the orbiter departure planned for June 20th and go back to planet Earth and land in Inner Mongolia on June 25th. I think now it's just a matter of time for China to land Taikonauts on the moon using this spacecraft called Mengzhou by 2030. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you tomorrow.